YouTube's COPPA update is not looking good for some kids' channels. In my last video, I was saying that, you know, the update isn't that bad because 95% of the people that were commenting that were worried under my videos, their channels were all made not for kids. This is what the FTC says will make your content for kids. Subject matter, visual content, stuff like that. So basically, it's not that difficult. If you're making, like, Disney sing-song videos, or, like, how to make a Superman costume for kids, something like that, you know, if your video is obviously intended for kids, you want a child audience, you're speaking like a Disney character where everyone talks like this, and you're doing stuff similar to that, then yeah, your video is for kids, your channel's probably for kids. So those channels are mainly going to be the ones affected by a lot of COPPA's restrictions. But holy crap, I did not know how many features of the kids' channels will be restricted from now on. This video from YouTube highlights a few of the restricted features that channels that are made for kids will now have. So apparently they won't have any comments on their videos. They won't have any personalized ads on their videos. They will have no info cards and no end screens as well. There were people commenting on my few recent videos and they were saying, how come the comments are enabled for this video? Guys, my channel is obviously not made for kids. <laughs> So this doesn't apply to me. My channel has been set to not made for kids. None of the subject matters that I cover on my channel is made for kids, so I'm good. I'm fine. Like I said, the people who make like singing videos for Disney and stuff like that, or toy videos and stuff, those channels need to be the ones worried. But anyways, these are not the only features that kids' channels will no longer have. They will no longer have any access to YouTube Merch Shelf, which is a feature that allows you to like promote your merch and all that. No more YouTube Stories, so it's kind of like the Snapchat Stories. I'll admit, this isn't a big deal because people don't really use the YouTube Stories. But get this, guys, no more community tab for the kids' channels. No more notification bell. You can't turn on notifications for kids' channels anymore. No more channel memberships for those channels. No more watermarks to brand their channel so they can't have, like, a little logo on the bottom right or whatever. No more donation button. No more live chat and live chat donations if they somehow live stream. Not only will there be no chat, but you can't donate to the live stream either. You can't play any videos back in the mini player option. And there's no more super chats and stuff for live streams. So basically, a lot of the features of kids' channels will be pretty much destroyed. But the reason why I made a video yesterday saying the cop is not as bad as we think, because like I said, many people that were worried under my comment section and many people worried on YouTube aren't kids' channels. If you are not a kids' channel, you don't have to worry about this type of stuff. You know what type of YouTubers will have to worry? Toy opening channels, channels like that, those are the ones that need to be really worried. But this video does specify that you can still make money if you're a kids' channel. It's just going to be kind of, well, very difficult. So yeah, in short, if your channel isn't made for kids, you're good. You will probably rarely get fined. Things will not be so bad. If you were a kid's channel, my gosh, things are about to get rough. Let me know what you guys think about the situation in the comments. Please like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more. See ya.